I am the salvation of the people, says the Lord. Should they cry to me in any distress, I will hear them, and I will be their Lord forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. This morning's Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of John J. Byrne. No relation. So we pray for John. We prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries that the first call to mind our sins, asking God for pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. You are splendor of the Father and Word made flesh. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is an appointed time for everything, and a time for everything under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot the plant, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to be far from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. What advantages has the worker from his toil? I have considered the task that God has appointed for the sons of men to be busied about. He has made everything appropriate to his time, and he has put the timeless into their hearts without man's ever discovering, from the beginning to the end, the work which God has done. The Word of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield and whom I trust. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Lord, what is man that you notice him, the son of man that you take thought of him? Man is like a breath, his day is like a passing shadow. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Once, when Jesus was praying in solitude and the disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowds say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, and still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. Then he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter replied, said in reply, the Christ of God. He rebuked them and directed them not to tell any of this to anyone. He said, the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. You know, if you really want to find God, live in the present moment. Lord is only revealing himself in the now, right now. The past is history, the future is mystery. And the problem is, is that if we live with our minds only in the past, with our eyes driving with the, only on the rear view mirror, we're going to crash. God gave us confession to take care of the past. We always live looking at the next mountain. We could fall off the mountain we're on right now. The Lord is asking us to trust him about what is in the future. This beautiful poem from Ecclesiastes says that the, the events of our lives are often 
and out of our hands and that what we can control and master and live most fully is this moment. So to be present at the Mass and not be worried about uh, what we've got to do at work today, to, to open ourselves to the power of the Eucharist revealing itself right now. That when we're talking to someone, to look them in the eyes and to, to be present to that person at that moment. If you want to find God, live in the present moment. Let us pray. We pray for our Holy Father, for all those who lead and guide us in faith. We pray that they will show us the, the, the power of Christ in mercy and love. We pray. We pray for our nation that we may be a people of healing and reconciliation. We pray. We pray for those who are in the process of making life changes that the Lord will reveal himself in a powerful way uh, what, in what can be difficult or sad times and to understand the great love of God's plan for us in the moment. We pray for the intentions which rest in the silence of our hearts. We pray and for our beloved dead, especially for John J. Byrne, for whom this Mass is offered. May he live with God for all eternity, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer, answer our needs, because we bring them to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant John, whom you called from this world to yourself. Grant that he, who was united with your Son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we make merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and make praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. You have laid down your precepts to be carefully kept. May my ways be firm in keeping your statutes.
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew in this sacrament, that we may come to possess our your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Please join us for adoration if you are able to. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Oh, Salud.